That's where I feel most at home. And in my own skin is when I'm on stage. That's when I don't really worry about anything. Part of that is because I feel strong as a performer, and the other part of that is because I have my, my two best friends behind me. We got a new record dropping March 25th. Song for that, man. Very, very excited. This is a song about standing out by the ocean, wrestling with a question. Wrestle by the sea. You're gonna see this city explode after we get out of this tunnel. We were talking about trying to book a show around the album release and wanted to do something special there. This tour came up, the idea of playing Baltimore came up and it was like a no-brainer. It's sort of an underdog city. It's kind of a terrifying place and sometimes, but because it is that way, I think it just brings everyone together. Dan Deacon moved to Baltimore shortly after we met him and he was pretty much always like, you guys gotta move here. We're like, dude, we're in college. We can't move. Like, we got, we got, I got class. I was working a concrete fabrications, pretty heavy duty construction job. College ended. We played this show at this place called The Depot here in Baltimore and there was this, it's almost like a palpable energy in the air. Like it felt electric. It felt like something was going on here. And we all quit our jobs. We moved to Baltimore and started touring constantly and been here ever since. It's official. We finally moved to Baltimore. We're at the fucking floristry, man. This is a special place. It's been a long time since we've played the floristry because we've been growing within the city and you can't always bring that many people or that kind of attention to the space. No one really hates on anybody here. And the scene is just really cool because you can have like a weird hardcore band, like an ambient band, like a dance performance all on the same show and everybody's really excited. It's a haven for kind of a good spirit for the arts. We won't be able to play this kind of show all the time. So let's do it one last time for a while. People change, we were asking an interview recently like, what success would do for us or if it would change us or, or what is success. You know, when people change. I mean, we already have success in what we do, you know. We've been able to live off of our music to eat and pay our bills for four and a half years. We want to get physical with the audience. By showing my own vulnerability, it allows people to open themselves up to that possibility for themselves. Life isn't always here, it's not always here, it's not always here, it's, we're constantly moving in and out. And that's kind of what we do in our show and highlighting those different points. As a page, a The hope for us and what we do is creating something that is honest enough that it can open people up to themselves. Exactly.